Everything is a drum. Hey! What's up, everyone? Adam from FWCI. This is One Piece Season 1, Episode 7, The Girl with the Sawfish Tattoo. Yeah, we know exactly who that is at the end of the last episode. Nami finally delivers the heel turn that I've been waiting for since, like... Uh, episode one? Is that when we um, first saw her have like a sneaky little conversation? But that was kind of crushing. Um, Zeph and uh, Sanji, I love that relationship so much. I think that was just a beautiful part of this story. And uh, I'm all on board with Sanji. I mean, we're getting a pretty decent crew. I even like Yusuf. I think he's a really fun character. I think he's a great addition to the show and the actor is absolutely nailing it. So I'm very keen to see what's happening in the world of One Piece. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure you hit the like button as well. And uh, go to patreon.com slash FWCI if you want early access to some other stuff. But let's check out One Piece Season 1, Episode 7, The Girl with the Sawfish Tattoo. It's the other starboard, Captain Shitastic. I thought clowns were supposed to be funny. What was that? <laughs> Why'd you say it to my face? <sighs> I want to say Buggy's annoying, but he entertains me. He really does. Oh, there once was a girl with tangerine hair. <laughs> oh, too soon. <laughs> Truly a crafty and crooked young lass, but you can't deny she had a spectacular <laughs> I just want to know if Nami's okay. A beautiful, talented woman does not cheat. Okay, Luffy, why have you... Why are you so... Becometh of Nami. I don't even know if that makes sense, but you know what I'm trying to say. Be unraveled. Nami made her choice. You don't know why? The only thing I want to hear from you at the dinner special. You don't know that. Sounds like you don't know her very well either, Mosshead. No, <gasps> oh, don't you two start arguing. I can't... I don't know if I can deal with that. Konomi Islands? Who is that over there? Is that... Is that buggy? <laughs> Little Nami! What is going on here? Are we going to finally find out why she's evil? I know she's not evil, but... You know, she didn't kind of screw everybody back there. Oh, I'm thinking. Oh, what's the matter? Can't count any higher than five? <laughs> <laughs> she's a tough bitch, man. This doesn't look like a very friendly game of poker. And he's bluffing because he tapped his card. Call it. Call it. Yeah. Liar. And you're a cheat. You know we don't lie about money on this crew. Alright. Noted. No lying about money. Cheating bitch. So she just lies to everybody. It's just a big old lie fest with her. Whoa, is that Buggy's body? Right, so this is how she's a great navigator, I guess. It's in her blood. Always has been. Where did you get this? Stole it. I hate eating tangerines every day. I hate wearing Nojigo's hand-me-downs. I hate being poor! We may not have much. But we have a roof over our heads and we love each other. That's what makes us a family. No, we're not a real family. No, Jika's not my sister and you're not even my mom. <gasps> oh, okay. Even more reason why you probably shouldn't do that, lady. But wow, where the fuck did Nami come from then? My unit had been dispatched to engage a band of pirates in the Oikok kingdom. Wait, she was a marine? I had to live so I could take care of you. How did you know? I know you'll do the right thing too. Oh, and that's when she split. Damn, man. Part of me thought you might not be coming back. Of course I came back. We have a deal, don't we? Yeah. Oh, was she not gonna go back? She... Oh. So she was gonna split and bail on the fishmen. But when Arlo showed up, she's like, oh, hey, man. Oh, yep. Yeah. Here we go. Coco Village. I'm not exactly welcome there. Can't you send Karobi or Chu? No. This job requires a human touch. <laughs> Alo is um, 
very entertaining, I must say. Uh, the actor, the character, the makeup, the whole presentation looks pretty cool. Oh, the Marines are the Bartier, Baratier. Still can't say that shit right. A little late to the party, am we? <laughs> I need some information about a young pirate who was here recently. Name of Luffy. I can't help you. Can't or won't. It'd be such a shame to let all that delicious marble and go to waste. We're not here for a meal. We have information. That steak, medium rare? More rare than medium. Yeah, yeah, he likes it raw. So Garp loves his steak, Luffy loves food. Is there some sort of... Is that because they're related? They're just from one big old food-loving family? It looks like a milk crate, what the hell? I think we can all agree that Arlong's a bad fish, but why don't we quit lollygagging and get my body back? Pipe down in there. Or what? You gonna whip me up a souffle? <laughs> mm. This is Coco Village? Uh-oh. That was her sister? Sister? friends <laughs> next time come to me first maybe we can have you do some odd jobs around town what so hang on are Arlo and Nami like um Thanos and Gamora <laughs> what happened Christ what? That's him now? <gasps> wow, man. The balance of power has changed so much in this fucking village. Arlong wanted the map, and I conned you into getting it for me. And you bought it. I was never part of your stupid crew. That cuts deep, Nami. That cuts real deep. Sail away from here. I never want to see you again. Crushed her to say that. You don't know women. They never say what they mean. You tell me again why the cook gets to have so. That's right. He's a ladies' man as well, isn't he? The villagers are terrified of her. Not all of them. Yeah. The other chick. Hey! Scar guy! <laughs> Luffy! Try the house down that road. On the edge of the tangerine grove. Man, that... That officer there, he was like, seemed like such a nice guy, and now he seems so fucking angry and grizzled. My sister doesn't have any friends. The sooner you guys realize that, the better. Sisters. That makes sense. Both as beautiful as each other. <laughs> He's the best cook in the East Blue. You never tasted anything better in your life. Usopp's word. Ain't got much to cook with. Ah, you'd be surprised how much I can make with very few ingredients. Love him. He is so cool. <laughs> I'm so upset that Zoro and Sanji are having a little bit of um a little bit of friction there. This is nothing you should see him at a curry house. Oh. I don't want to see him after being at a curry house. I've been saving it for something special. It's been a while since I ran into anyone from the old days. Okay. What is... What's going on here, Zeph? And by the way, who saved Zeph and Sanji from that island? Because they would be very indebted to whoever that was. <laughs> he just hoofed that down. I don't give a shit about your fancy wine. Ow. Yeah! Alright, cool trick. The fish seem to be entertained by this. That's what we need to talk about. That in the terms of our deal. Oh, what is this deal? Oh, hello, boys. Nice ears. Captain Azumi, what a pleasant surprise. Always good to catch up, Arlo. Although, what the fuck am I looking at? Let's go upstairs to discuss our business. Oh. About to murder some marines. I can see this coming. 
Especially because they're scrub marines that I've never seen before. You know, this is the best thing I've eaten in my entire life. <laughs> of course it is. <laughs> Would that have even taken Arlo out though? Arlong, whatever his name is. Oh no, that's a bit incriminating. It ain't enough. <laughs> Don't be away from Oh, it's a family reunion. A little human, so precious. <laughs> He's a prick. He really is. I'm sorry I wasn't very good, Mother. No. No, don't say that. You kept him alive in against all odds. That's pretty oh, no. okay, Mother. Wait, Nami's working for the pirate that killed your mother? Yeah, what the hell? That makes this even more messed up. How do you know she's not one of Arlong's crew? Same way I knew about Usopp. And Sanji. Yeah, I don't know about that later. <laughs> How do you know this stuff though, Luffy? How are you such a good judge of character? With your increase in activity, it'd be a shame if word of this got back to Marine Headquarters. You guys are all gonna eat it, I'm telling you. You're not smarter than people give you credit for. so dead <laughs> what is with these ridiculous ears and the so and oh, the whole presentation of that guy what's up with that a fishman is one of the warlords of the sea Timbe is a fool oh, there's a fishman warlord out there somewhere you're smarter than people give you credit for <laughs> Hundred million berry. Oh, what are you, was that for? Oh, me. Is this so she can be excused from the gang? Bring Nessami back in here. Go. What is happening here? Not much of a drinker, are you? Don't you go drinking and telling him stuff, uh, Kobe. Maybe the Straw Hat Pirates aren't the villains that the Marines are making them out to be. Thought it was going to take a lot more liquor to bring out your mutinous side. <laughs> You know something. Yeah, I don't know how trustworthy haircut is though. Garp is Luffy's grandfather. Oh, why did you do that? All the things I thought you were going to say, that wasn't even on the list. <laughs> yeah, I bet it wasn't. A fellow with a straw hat came through here the other day. Do you know where he was heading? Is it worth to you? <laughs> so how many straw hats are out there? Just the one? <laughs> Two days. He's stalling him. He's fucking stalling him. That's what's going on here. You're not tricking me with your delicious stories. <laughs> Reminds me of another pirate we knew back in our glory days. Don't say I'm it. not saying it's gonna make it less true. Shanks. The kid reminds me of Gold Roger. Oh. Gold Roger? That's the guy who hid the treasure in the first place. You have to know when it's time to let them go. Change is coming whether you want it or not. <laughs> yeah. It's, so the same way that um, Zeph has to let go of Sanji, he's telling Garp to let go of Luffy? That's what I'm getting from that. Since I've had any smoked fish, maybe if you guys had some extra. You don't have a body or a digestive system or anything. I don't even know what happens if you eat, man. <laughs> New guy shuts up the clown head. <laughs> oh, that, that's her mother's grave and that's where she's buried all this cash? How dare you? It's not enough. Shit. You have no idea what I think! <laughs> Cha-ching. Oh no. And what is this deal? Where does this money get you? And you're hiding it next to our mother's body. Is it to get her out or something? And who are you? My name is Nami. You killed my mother. Prepare to die? No, this isn't Princess Bride. I want to join your crew. <laughs> what? <laughs> she asked them to join? Jesus. You knew this. Ooh, that's a good skill to have in this world. 
told Arlong I'd work for him on one condition. That he let me buy back Coco Village. Oh, so it's no longer under his... They don't have to pay tribute or anything like that? Why didn't you tell me? Very good question. I hated you. Fair enough as well. Nami, you got bad communication skills. <laughs> oh, this is not good. That's obviously been stolen by the authority of the Marines and the world government. Fuck you, man. Shove it up your ass. How about that? Arlong put you up to this, didn't he? Oh, that's right. Arlong asked him to bring that guy back in. That's fucked. <laughs> that's no! some bullshit. Oh, I just want to grab that fucker by the ears and headbutt him. Arlong continues to be a complete prick in this show. For centuries, humans have used us. Kept us. Hang on, didn't she say we don't lie about money in this crew? If she tells Arlong's crew what happened, are they going to turn on him? Every human, their rightful place. Beneath us. Yeah! Beneath us. Arlong, Arlong is a great villain. Digging him. We only got a very small glimpse of him earlier in the season, and I, I can see what they, why they wanted to hint at him. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> what is going on? What this is? She needs to roll back down there, be like, "Hey, Nami, I'm the one who got the fucking map. This piece of shit." is lying to you about, he, he lied to me. There were lies about money. Money was, money lies happened. Oh. And who's there? Luffy's there. Of course he is. Help me. Yeah. You're a part of the crew, Nami. Come back. We'll have us a meal and we'll figure out a plan. Oh, <laughs> really? <laughs> what a beautiful little gesture for Luffy to make at this moment. She knows how much that hat means to him. And she's just at her lowest. <laughs> and she's just over overwhelmed and overcome with this display of loyalty. <gasps> really? That was Arlong Arlong's plan as well? Gotta save Coco Village, everybody. Damn it! Setting up a finale, though. And I knew Nami did. I knew Nami was a. <clears throat> I knew Nami couldn't be purely evil, and she had some sort of conflicting interest there. And Arlong is just an absolute piece of work. <laughs> he is such an asshole. Great villain. But like, there's just no redeeming qualities to him at all. I mean, he's he's got pride in his fish people, I guess, but he's just a scumbag through and through every single time we see him in this um, in this show. Interesting to hear um, Garp and Zeph talking about the old days and um, Zeph, you know, he lives by the code as well. He, he owes Luffy a bit of a debt and Sanji's with him as well, I guess. He didn't really mention that. We're getting more of um, Kobe and Haircut. That's all. I'm interested to see where that goes because at this point, Haircut's gone from being a real like villainous bad guy to somebody who could make the turn and like join like the good guy team I, I don't know i feel like he's he's got that brewing under the surface somewhere very excited for the finale let me know in the comments what you thought about this one don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and go to patreon.com fwci if you want to support the channel further and as always everyone be well stay safe look after your friends see you in the next video peace